booga, booga, booga. The average woman who is liberal minded and who went to college has had more than sausages stuffed in her mouth. Wow, that looks interesting. I can't wait to get to that part of the video. Hello, boogies. Beard. I have one now, and it looks great. Now, those of you who might be critical, you might be asking, hey, Dylan, why doesn't your mustache connect to the rest of your beard in this little area here? And to that, I would say, why doesn't your top lip connect to your bottom lip? Maybe just and then keep it that way. As someone with a largely female audience, I believe it is my responsibility to teach you guys about men. <laughs> Problem is, I don't know much about men. That's why I'm growing a beard. I'm attempting to learn the ways. But luckily for me and you, I have stumbled upon the secrets of manhood. Specifically, the 14 harsh truths men need to accept to live their best lives. What do we need? What do we gotta learn? It's gonna be harsh, but I'm willing to learn it. Your life path will never be like anyone else's. This is no cookie cutter. You have to figure out on your own, what is best for you. Some people are just going to be more successful than you. If there is a whole list of people that are better than you, there is a whole list of people that are worse than you. Now don't you feel better? I do feel better. I, to be honest, I don't care if there's people above me as long as there's a bunch of people below me, those pathetic peasants. <laughs> sure, I want to be the best, but I just don't want to be the worst. I think that's my motto in life. Four, there are some bad people disguised as good people and waiting to pounce. Hey, your best friend from third grade, she's in jail. Your roommate from your sophomore year of college. She dropped out and is stripping in Vegas now. Your current best friend. She's spreading gossip to your other friends right this instant because she can't get over the fact that you got a job at Facebook because she always thought she was better than you. That's a, the oddly specific there, don't we think? I can't believe my best friend from third grade's in jail. What the hell? I love how this is like, hey, there are some terrible people out there. Like your best friend from third grade? Jail. Your other friend from college? A stripper now. What a terrible person. <laughs> As if they're just like equal. Committing a crime, stripping, it's pretty much the same. Five, you will keep falling in love with people that are either not good for you or don't like you the way you like them. And it will be awful, hot, sexy, strange, stupid, awkward, weird, sad, perfect, and life. You will not take a honeymoon trip to the Bahamas together and have wild, crazy adventures. And they will not be there for you when your car breaks down at 3 a.m. in the middle of Oakland. Six. <laughs> Guys, specifically, men, get in relationships, but understand that you will not be happy, okay? You you think you're gonna go on fun trips? No! Because she's not gonna come to Oakland and fucking repair your car! And if she's not gonna do that, then it's not love! Why is my best friend in jail? My girl best friend? What did she do? Why is my car- why am I in Oakland? And why is my car breaking down? Why can't I be happy? Why can't I have a honeymoon? We've all heard it. Finish high school, mm -hmm. go to college, mm -mm. find a job, mm -hmm. maybe go to graduate school. Mm -mm. Yes, yes, you need all no, of that. No. But you also need the street smarts. Get beat up if that's what it takes. Get robbed at gunpoint if that's what it takes. You need to know the ins and outs of life so you don't make the same mistake a second time. I think it's a great valuable lesson for guys is to go out there and experience things. Experience having a gun pointed in your face and someone threatening your life. How else will you learn that you don't want that to happen again? You'll never know unless that gun is in your face. <laughs> what a weird example. What life do you think I live? Your parents are eventually going to die and leave nothing in the will for you. So be independent. Ah. Uh... Now I'm just sad. Why? <laughs> Here's the harsh truth. Your parents are gonna die and abandon you financially. Nine, exercise and eating healthy are key. <laughs> This looks great. Whoever did the graphics of this video, phenomenal job. Of course, traveling can be fun, interesting, beautiful, and eye-opening. But so is five glasses of wine and eating while drunk at 2 a.m. in the middle of a field in Davis. Ka with my best friend naked. <laughs> Guys, traveling's great, but you know what else is great? My buddy Nate. Him and I getting rip roaring drunk and heading out into the fields of California where our car breaks down and the girlfriend won't come pick me up and repair my car. We're not in love. You know who I really love? It's Nick. He's always there for me. That's the arch truth of life. Men, we just need to be gay. Learn something every day. Okay. A new skill, how to program, how to make a bomb roasted chicken, how to read, how to listen. Did you just say learn a new skill every day? How to read? How to hug someone perfectly. What? That's not a skill. Dog, I'm I'm all aboard like learning more skills as you, you go through life. Because that way you're accumulating experience and knowledge and just become a better person and a more well-rounded person. But I wouldn't be like, okay, today I'm going to learn how to hug properly. What is that? What does that mean? I'm going to stop grabbing the booty cheeks. All right, I got to stop doing that. It's making people uncomfortable. That's today's the day I learn. You got to keep your hands up because my hands just keep going down and then they go, ooh, ooh. Squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> Women show their true nature to unattractive men. This should be fun. 
<laughs> same channel? All right. Oh, they have their own self-improvement program. That's great. Step one, learn how to hug better and practice on your friend from third grade who went to jail for arson. What does it feel like? What is life like for unattractive men? First off, you can get women, but they won't stay with you. They will expect you do not to have any goal in life other than their welfare. That is because they're not attracted to you so they are only using you. If you're unattractive, listen, you're never gonna feel love. Okay? I can't believe that's the first bit of advice. Women are only going to use you, you pathetic lump of meat. You're a lump of meat who dotes on them. You can even have a wife and children. That doesn't mean that woman is attracted to you. Yeah, and also your kids will probably hate you too. Fuck you, because you're ugly. This is so fun already. One of the most painful things is seeing a woman behave coldly towards you, even if you have never said or done anything wrong, and then seeing them open up easily to an attractive guy. Why is this gender specific? Guys will treat attractive women better as well. Or at least people who are single. They're trying to decor and getting good with people who are attractive because then they'll maybe procreate. That's a, it's a thing. It's a psychological thing. It's called the halo effect. The gold? The halo? Yeah? Yes, attractive people are perceived to be smarter, funnier, and more likable than less attractive people because we just associate good things with them. Because we want to be around them. We want to be near them. We want to be with them. We want to have their children. This is not gender specific where it's like, hey, men. Women aren't gonna love you because you're ugly. They will go out with you if they don't have any other choice and they don't want to stay indoors. You will not be invited to parties unless it's to make up for numbers. <laughs> oh, this is just like psychopath juice. Sad people watch this and they're just like, okay, I'm definitely gonna end up committing a crime. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt people. That's what I'm gonna do now because of this video. Why would consuming this help in any way, shape or form? Because the fact of the matter is, it's not like the world isn't completely shaped by looks. Yeah, we're attracted to certain types of people romantically and even sometimes friendship wise. If someone looks kind of weird, you're gonna be like, ah, maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. But if you show your value, if you show that like you're a nice person, you're kind, you get, you read the room well, you're good with emotions, you're there for people, you're gonna win friends. I thought the, the, the thing about our parents dying was gonna be sad. I thought that was gonna be the low point. But here we are, even lower. Female friends will only seek you out if they have some problems. This means for you there is no such thing as a female friend. Also, they don't want to be seen with you. <laughs> no one wants to be seen with you, no one wants to hang out with you. Oh, uh. On the brighter side, it does come with its advantages. Thank you, about time, finally. There's gotta be some upside here, right? Otherwise, I'm just gonna jump off a bridge right now. First and foremost, your time and money are fully yours to spend. Because no one else will spend time and money with you. <laughs> it's easy to slip into the misogyny trap. It's, yeah, it feels kind of like that's where you're going. But you learn the hard way that women are as visual as men. That's not true. I think women are more forgiving on men's looks than men are forgiving on women's looks. Not to say that there's no pressure on guys to look a certain way and to, to be physically attractive. Like there are still a lot of great benefits to that. However, I do think that it's not the same level. I think men care more. You also learn that women can be quite cruel to people they see beneath them. So are men, why? There's nothing different here. That's not the benevolent tender-hearted creatures that romantically successful guys buy into. They're not these sweet, tender-hearted creatures. <laughs> well, they're just fucking human beings. They're not creatures. Why are you putting them in this like weird box where they're like, they're the, something alien? You will become a very good judge of character and be able to manipulate people into doing what you want when necessary. This is super villain juice. The only reason why women cheat on good men same channel. Oh, but they get, this time they help you build an online business that makes you $100 a day. Hey guys, you can make money. Here's the proof. Some random charts that have no context. <laughs> Look, guys, there's the number and then a dollar sign here, which means this is real. What is the only reason why women cheat on good men? Tell me the secrets. Hypergamy is when women find a good match. They will still delay and see if they can do better or attract an even higher value man. Or if she found a good match, she will monkey branch to a potentially higher value male. Okay, so, quick story time. For the past six months or so, I have delved deep into what is known as the Red Pill community, which is a growing community of guys who have more traditional views. And by traditional, I mean that they believe that the man should be the, the breadwinner and that the women should uh, close their mouths and feed them food, make them cook, cook and clean. <laughs> Men want sex, a sandwich, and silence. And it's such a fascinating community of people because at the core, there, there's like good beliefs. At the core, it's like, hey, self-improvement. Don't worry about the judgment of other people. Don't worry about relationships. Focus on yourself. It's almost like self-love a little bit. But then 
once they start adding on beliefs about women, typically things tend to get pretty toxic pretty fast. Hypergamy, which is a phrase you'll hear a lot, also monkey branching. Hypergamy, though, refers to the idea of marrying up or dating up, climb the social ladder. Monkey branching is the idea that specifically women, like a monkey swinging on branches, will have a relationship, but she'll use that relationship up until the point where she can get a better relationship. And she's gonna keep swinging through the forest, hold, grabbing hold of one until she has a firm grip of the next one. The branch. Don't where's where'd your mind just go there? Okay, calm down. And until she knows that she's gonna be in a relationship with this next person, she doesn't let go of the last person, leaving that person torn up because she moved on so quickly because she's already in a relationship with the next person. So again, this should be fun. What are the only reasons women cheat on men from somebody who is in a community of people who have some uh, some anger <laughs> towards women? While she's with you. Her subconscious mind is always telling her that she can do better than this, mm. and she will be on the constant lookout for a better guy. This is like that fear-mongering, and I feel like you see that a lot in the, the Red Pill community as well, is like, you better be on the lookout for women, okay? Number one, they can't control themselves. Their subconscious is going crazy right now. They can't control their feelings and emotions. They're going to leave you, you pathetic piece of shit. So it's like a way to like keep the men in the community because if they get into a healthy relationship with a woman, then they're not gonna share the same beliefs anymore. So it's like almost like a fear-mongering belief to like try to keep you afraid of women. So you're like, no, 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 I'm just gonna stay in this community of like-minded people who are afraid. But we don't say we're afraid because we're, we're alpha actually, but secretly we're all afraid <laughs> of being happy. And there's always comparisons to animals in the animal kingdom. It's like, hey, it's in our biology, it's in our nature. As if the human being isn't so far above the food chain that you can't compare us to animals anymore. So anytime you hear things about like instincts, like, oh, it's just your instinct, so therefore it's correct. Not every instinct and not every thought that you have needs to be acted upon. So there maybe there's a, a worthy discussion about what's in our brain subconsciously at a biological level, but to act like we're all slaves to these desires, when we're clearly not, we're in a civilized society, we're all, for the most part, we're almost all controlling ourselves outside of a, a very small group of people who commit heinous crimes and such, but the rest of us are doing fine. You shouldn't be surprised as this is in her natural biology, but is she on the constant lookout 24 seven for a better guy than you? The answer is no. As long as you have a frame and she respects you and you have other options and are on your purpose, she will stick around. The phrases, man, that's how they get you. As long as you're in your frame, as long as you're on your purpose. And then everyone in the community goes, oh, I'm so, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, my purpose. I'm on my purpose. I'm on my purpose. Please, I don't tell you, I'm on my purpose. As you become more close and spend more time with her, you slowly start to open up and lose frame. The worst thing a man can ever do is open up to women. <laughs> That's the worst thing you can do? That's the worst of all the things you can, a man can do. Hello, officer. Uh, I have a I have a confession to make. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, sir. Slow down. What brings you to the police station today? I, uh, oh, God. I just, I, I said, I, I burned an orphanage to the ground. I just, I burned it. I'm sorry. Wait, you set fire to an orphanage? I saw, I saw its instinct. It's my, it's my biology. I was just like, I fired nice. And then I lit a match and I threw it at the orphanage because the kids were screaming inside. They were just annoying me as I was walking by and I was like, it would be nice if they were just burning. Oh God, did, did anyone get out? No, I held the door shut and then I barred the door with a wooden board so that they couldn't leave. I have to talk to my supervisors because you might be under arrest. Yeah, no, I just, I, it's, it's a bad thing. I realize now, like looking back, I probably shouldn't have done it because, oh man, I just been really stressed at work recently and uh, I was talking to my girlfriend about this. I was telling her about my stresses and my problems and- Ow, oh, hang on, hang on, what, you- you told your girlfriend about your problems? Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's been kind of a lot to deal with and I needed someone okay, to Okay, no, 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 sorry, you're under arrest. No, no, that's the worst thing you could have done is tell your girlfriend about your problems. I, I could probably overlook the orphan thing. Cause like, who's gonna miss them? Uh, okay, skits over, skits over, skits over. I can't, I can't, that, that, that joke made me feel really bad. Oh. I need to adopt a kid now for repentance for that joke. I need to adopt a child. I need to adopt an orphan. I need to start maybe an orphanage. Although who's gonna give me the money to start an orphanage after I had this little rant about setting fire to one. Women have this idea ingrained in them that men are strong, stoic, and non-emotional beings. Just imagine a lion for a second. What was I just talking? I was just talking about the animal thing. Guys, are you trying to be a lion? Are you trying to be a wolf? Are you trying to be a cheetah? Why are we animals? Stop with the animal comparisons. That's why being emotionally stoic and strong and showing no emotion in front of women is very necessary. Showing no emotion? Ever? Dog, this is a miserable life. If you're someone who like believes these things, 
you're not happy. You're just repressing everything. So that's the beauty of having a relationship is having someone who you can rely on, having someone who you can share things with. And sure, yes, we're attracted to different things. A lot of women like a man who's strong, like emotionally strong, but it's okay to break down every once in a while. It's okay to share your fears and your stresses. No one likes a crybaby, that's, that's, sure, yeah, that's true. Keep some of it in check. But like, if stuff happens to you and you need to talk about it, it's not a bad thing. My dad died. Did I lose my job? Or did any tragedy happen in my life? No one cares. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> your dad died? And I can't cry? There's like a baseline of interesting and like truthful thing here. It's like the world doesn't really care about your problems. The world moves on around you regardless of whatever happens in your individual life. So if you're, if something really terrible happens to you, take a couple days, your dad dies, take a couple days, grieve it, feel it, and then figure out how to move on from it. You lose a job, hey, take a day, relax, set your mind right, and then get back up on the horse. These are natural human emotions and you need to feel them and you need to just move on from them. You can't just be like, oh no, I'm, I can't share anything with the person I love. What life is that then? What, why are you together? She actually fears that if you open up to her, she'll lose all the respect she had for you. <laughs> Who are you to speak for women? I don't think that you are a good source. That's the easiest way for you to get cheated on and make her drier than the Sahara Desert and she'll- <laughs> Funny. If your dad dies, your goal shouldn't be like, hey, I, I need to get my girlfriend wet right now. <laughs> like I said, there's a balance. A balance between being strong or as strong as you can be, and Aww. also showing your vulnerable side. Always remember that lion analogy. No. Coming back to hypergamy, the average woman who is liberal-minded and who went to college has had more than sausages stuffed in her mouth. Most women are only short-term material. The majority of women then become emotionally broken and damaged man-hating feminists. Come on! This generalizing is- it does no good for anybody. The reason I spent so much time engrossing myself in red pill content is because I wanted to create like a, a thesis about it. I wanted to create like a really interesting video. And I think the thesis that I wanted to, to talk about specifically is that women are just people. They're just human beings like men are. And sure, men and women have their differences. However, when it comes to like what makes a human being, there's a lot of overlap between men and women. And yet this community of people treats women as if they're just like these completely different things. You don't need to like take courses on, on learning how to pick up women. If anything, just take courses on, on having self-confidence and building yourself up. That's the only thing that you would need to do because it's better just to go up to someone and be like, hey, and have a conversation with no ulterior motive other than just to like get to know them. Not to like secretly get to know them to the point until they are comfortable with you enough to then invite them to come over to your plate. Like that, people read through that. The problem with the guys in this community is it feels, it feels safer for them to sit back and have each other and be like, yeah, no, 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 bros before hoes. And they have a place where <laughs> they don't have to deal with their hurt and their damage. And it's just like kind of like a safe space for them. Red, the, the, red, the red pill community is a safe space for hurt men. <laughs> Word. Beta bucks who put their head down and study for 12 long hard years for a good salary and think it will make women attracted to them and to find a good wife is only suitable for her after she had her fair share of fun. Look how they pose it. Women are just out there being floozies. Why did that word pop in my head? That was like the most 60s word I could have fucking used. Women are being floozies while these men are just, they put their nose down and they work and they learn also that a woman will accept and love them. And that's, they just give all they have for the woman. And now I'm Southern for some reason, well, I don't know why. And wants him for his lifelong comfortable income. And the woman just wants the man for the money. That's all she gets out of marriage. As if women don't also earn their own living. But she will never be truly wet for him. Now, many women think they are entitled to the top 1% of men just because of their beauty. The people that are talking about women, I just get the sense that they don't really understand women. So all these generalizations about what women think they deserve, it feels so hollow coming from a guy being like, women all just think they deserve this or that. No, they don't. I guess not in my experience, that's not what I've come across. And again, it's just fear mongering. It's just setting that fear into guys. Finally, five dark secrets that men will never tell women. We got the harsh truths. We got the reasons why women cheat on men. Now we're getting the dark secrets. One, a man will never tell how much they love a woman. Well, that's because you told them not to. Never open up to a woman. But the fact is, they will never make you realize their infinite love towards you. Their every effort, every small success, Every concealed pain is being surrounded by the love towards you. So let me get this straight. Everything a man does is for you. Except we just watched a video from the same channel where they're saying, don't live for women. Not everything that you should do for should be for a woman. But here's the secret. 
everything that we do is for women. <laughs> is it for ourselves or is it for others? They will never tell you their struggle. You, you told them not to. You specifically said, don't open up to women. But here's a dark secret. Men aren't gonna open up to women. Why do you think that is? They sometimes fall so hard that no strength has left in their body, but still they stand straight with the half broken bone just to support their family. You know their daily struggle, but you don't know their every second struggle to keep their family's existence valid. What do you think women do? You think like the men are just like holding this cobbled family together and they just like take all these slings and arrows, all to protect the family and then the woman just sits at home drinking like pina coladas? What do you think is happening? A woman can make any man fall in love with her by simply opening up emotionally to the man about something horrible that happened to her in the past and being extremely vulnerable in her emotions. That's not how men fall in love. You don't tell me your trauma and then I'm like, oh, I love you now. The more crying, the better. Now- The more crying, the better? No, that's not how men fall in love. Like we could have sympathy for you. We could be there for you, but that's not gonna, that's not like love fuel. Even if they really want to maintain a pure relationship, Others will take them as ambiguous. Did he just air slap her? That was fun. Even if they really want to maintain a pure relationship, others will take them. <laughs> All right, so have you learned? I hope you have. <laughs> we talked about the harsh truths. We talked about the dark secrets that men harbor. It's just we're so giving and benevolent. That is our nature as men, okay? You wouldn't understand. And the reason you wouldn't understand it is just because you're a slave to your biology. You just take and you take and us men just give, give. No, but in all seriousness, like, listen, there's interesting conversation topics to be had here, but when you talk about it as they're absolute and you generalize like a whole group of people and then you get oddly specific at times, why am I drinking wine with my friend Nick and I'm in Oakland and my car broke down? What is happening again? I don't know. Today was a weird experience. <laughs> hey, listen, hit the like button on this video. Why? I grew a beard specifically for that opening joke. I spent a month working on this just for that dumb little two second joke. That is the depths of my love for you as a man. I just give and I give. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Ooh. Ooh. Bogo, bogo.